man is standing between two parallel clips like this and he fires a gun he's got a gun and he fires it he fires the gun obviously this gun is going to produce a sound from let us assume from this point he is firing the gun at this point so the sound is going to go to this direction as well as in this direction okay and obviously the sound is going to get reflected back to him and he would hear a hear echo now they are saying that he is hearing echo after first echo after 1.5 seconds so let us assume from first cliff the echo is heard after 1.5 second okay so sound is going from here and coming back in 1.5 second okay and the second echo he hears after 2.5 seconds so the sound is going from here and coming back in 2.5 seconds okay so this is the time and the speed of the sound is given to us speed is given to us velocity velocity of sound is given to us which is 340 meters per second for this also time is 2 second 2.5 second and velocity is 340 meters per second what you want to do in this case you have to find the distance s1 and in this case the distance s2 Okay. Case one. So, Nikki, what are we going to do? Can you tell us? Yeah, um, we're going to write what's given to us. That's the velocity and the time. Velocity is three forty meters per second. Time. One point five seconds. One point five seconds. Now we're going to find a distance. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna write the formula of echo, which is two d is equals to v into t. Okay. Now we just put values of the velocity and time given in the equation. D uh, in this case is S one, right? Yeah. Okay. So two D is equals to three forty uh, into one point five. So it will be three forty into one point five divided by two. We'll cut it. What we are going to do is three forty divided by two is what? One one seventy seven zero. Okay, so D will be equal to two five five two five five meters D one or S one. So case two, case two is the uh, sound coming uh, echo from the second clip. First, we are going to write what is given, which is V equals to three forty meter per second. And three forty meters per second. This is the speed of the sound which is given to us in the question. And time in this case is given to us two point two point five seconds, right? Yes. So we're going to write the formula. S two. Yeah, needs to be found. So the formula is two D equal to V into T. Which is we're going to put the values. So two D equals to three forty into two point five. Three forty into two point five. So D equals to three forty into twenty five upon twenty. Twenty five upon twenty. You cancel this. You cut this. What do you get? One seven. One seven. Seventeen, in, 17 into twenty five. Uh, so distance is four twenty five meters. So distance in this case D two is four twenty five meters. So the total distance between clips will be d1 plus d2, which is 255 plus 425. So the total distance between clips is 680 meters. Okay, is it clear up till here? Now the question is asking when are we going to hear the third echo? 
so third echo will be heard when the sound is going from the source hitting one cliff from there it gets reflected towards the second cliff hits it and come back to the source come back to the person that is the time which is uh, which we have to find out so it is going from the source hitting one cliff then it goes to and hit the second cliff and then it comes back okay so in this case the distance is going to be taken as 680 because the sound is traveling between the two clips so d is given to us in this case as 680 because it is 680 is the distance we found between the two clips yes and speed will remain the same 340 meters per second for the sound time we have to find out okay so again we will use the formula 2d is equal to v into t so t in this case will be 2d upon v so t will be equal to 2 into 680 divided by 340 what do you get 4 for third echo, time will be 4 seconds. 